right, so today we have got the automatic suction pool cleaner, which is actually made for a 16 by 32 foot pool, and we have a 15 by 30 foot pool. So we are gonna test it out. It is made by US Extreme Power, and we're just gonna uh, unbox it here and assemble it and give it a spin and see what happens. Okay, so reading these nifty little weights that came with it, I have a pool that is five feet deep, and it says that you need to add two weights for a pool that's four to seven feet deep. So add one weight, um, four to 12 inches from the swivel head. So right here, I'm gonna add one weight, about eight inches from the swivel head. And then it says to add your second weight about six feet in from the swivel head. So these sections of pipe are probably maybe four foot sections of pipe. So I'm gonna go add one right about here. And then put the pipe back together. We're gonna see how this works. So during the setup, you'll notice there are arrows marking where everything's going. So this is the regulator that comes with it. This is your um, adapter, so your hose fitting adapter. So what you'll wanna do is um, make sure that you put the regulator into the end of your hose here. Then put your adapter on the end of your regulator. There is an arrow on the regulator. OK, 
Okay, and then you're gonna want to uh, be sure and attach, be sure and attach the hose to the uh, suction line. It'll either be on the side of the pool or sometimes the suction line will be under the filter basket. Make sure the pump is off before you attach it. Um, and uh, that's where the adapter comes in handy because you'll have different size lines. Uh, a lot of times it's just called the return on the side or the suction line. So that's where you're gonna plug this in. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention is if this does not stay on the bottom, that's why they give you the additional weight is that'll keep it down in the water. And also as far as tangling, if your hose starts to get tangled up, and just simply take out one of these sections of hose. And so as I was reading more and more in the instructions, if it gets tangled or caught on a corner or on a railing or something or one of the ledges in your pool, take out one of these sections. So I'm gonna pull out a section of hose and because uh, this is a little bit longer than the length of the pool, they said stretch it the full length of the pool if it's a little bit longer than your pool, take out a length of hose. So I'm taking out one length of hose, and then we're just about ready to try this out. So last step here, still on this about six feet. So something like that, as far as the first weight here, they said about four inches from the attachment. This one here, about six feet or so from the cleaning head and they said just push this on and I think we are about ready to try this out and again like I said make sure the pull pump is off and you want to attach the hose to the uh, suction line which is either on the side of the pool or to the return line which is under your pool filter and uh, let's go see what happens Okay, time to test this out. I'm going to go plug it into the uh, vacuum port or pull a filter and then plug it in there. And uh, we're gonna see how this thing does. And pump is off and uh, let's go check it out. It looks like all the air is out of the line now and it is uh, jostling or shaking back and forth. That's actually a normal thing. I had to jump on the manufacturer website to verify it's been going on. Um, that's a normal thing, so not broken. 
So when you see yours jumping around like that, or the pipe shaking like that, the vacuum hose, it's perfectly normal. That's what it's supposed to do. That means it's actually working. Okay, so it did get briefly stuck there for a second on a ledge, on an underwater ledge, and then it did free itself. And that may be part of the uh, idea with the whole shaking on this little device, I'm not really sure. Um, now one thing I've also read that you need to shorten the length of the hose if it's too long it can tend to get stuck so I may pull out yet another section of hose because it is still a little too long for this pool and that may help with any uh, issues of it getting stuck although it did free itself so we'll see Okay, so as you can tell, it is currently stuck on a corner of the wall over there by the stairs. So I am going to go and remove a couple of pieces of pipe and just verify it can reach the furthest corner from the uh, suction drain and then see if it does any better. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to just let it time lapse here for a little bit and we'll come back and check on it. Okay, so the Extreme Power Pool Vacuum Cleaner does appear to uh, have hit a snag. It is stuck right here. So I'll check back in five minutes and see if it is stuck or if it is able to free itself. Stay tuned. Okay, so five minutes later it has not freed itself, but this is after uh, two and a half hours of running time. And yes, the pool is a lot cleaner, but it is ha it has gotten stuck once since I've shortened these uh, lengths of pipe. And uh, so far, it's gotten stuck once, so not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and free it, and uh, we're gonna keep going, and let's see uh, see how we do.
Okay, everybody, as you can tell, this thing has been running for hours. It's been cleaning really well, but yet again, it has gotten stuck over in the same corner. So I'm going to go take out one more piece of hose and see if it does any good or if it helps out at all. And, oh wait, is it moving? Wait, it's moving, false alarm. Okay, just kidding. I still may take out one more piece of hose because it has gotten stuck here a couple of times. But that was a false alarm. All right, everybody, so in conclusion, this is overall a great product. Um, but there's a couple of things you have to remember. Um, be sure and if it starts getting tangled up, remove some of the hose lengths. That'll keep it from getting tangled. As soon as I did that, it wasn't getting caught on the corners or in some of the ledges. Um, the other thing to remember is use the adapters that come with it. Also, be sure and use the weights to keep it weighted, keep it down on the floor of the pool. Um, also, the other thing I had mentioned was be sure and close your pool drains. I did have it get stuck on a drain and I had neglected to close off the pool drains. Those will suck it down and just keep it from moving around if you don't close those pool drains. Um, overall, this is a great product. Um, one last thing, the pipe will shake, so it'll sit there and do this. It's normal had to check the manufacturer website because I was like, uh-oh, something's going on. Perfectly normal thing. That means it's working. It's sucking up all the debris on the bottom of the pool. So it means it's good. Um, so basically for the, uh, for what Jeff Bezos pays for a cup of coffee for 80 bucks, it's a great product. It's going to save you a lot of backbreaking work. Um, I would, I'd give it two thumbs up. It's awesome. It's cleaning this pool really well. Uh, I'll take some pictures and post it, the before and after photos of the pool, the job it's doing. Uh, there's some of the video as well. Um, you can see the underwater photos as it's moving along there. Um, basically, it's, uh, it's doing a great job. There's a link at the bottom of the screen here under the description uh, where you can find the product. Be sure and like and subscribe, turn on your notifications. And uh, thanks again, thanks so much for watching. Cat. Bitches got faithfulness, cap, and drugs only